Well, now you can have an assistant that can actually do it for you. Industry visionaries like Alessia and Kane Minkus took the stage at the AI Summit on Friday, offering the crowd a glimpse into the future of artificial intelligence. The power of artificial intelligence today is creating a world where there are no boundaries due to languages. Some of the technology on display? Real-time multilingual communication, already transforming how people connect across the globe. Le pouvoir de l'intelligence artificielle aujourd'hui, die Kraft der künstlichen Intelligenz schafft heute eine Welt. Along with the breakthroughs, there were also warnings, like these disturbingly real deepfake videos of political leaders to ethical concerns. Speakers cautioned against the potential dark side of AI. Closer to home, innovators in BC are finding real-world uses for AI. Tech entrepreneur Chris Payne shared how his team in Salmon Arm is using AI-powered robots to revolutionize commercial mushroom farming. So it's allowed us to uh, identify what is a mushroom, be able to pick it with high accuracy, uh, trim it and test the quality of that before we pack it. And that's really important for reaching a quality standard that's important when you're shipping uh, produce uh, out to grocery stores that people are actually going to buy. Beyond the tech demos, the summit was a peek into what the technology could bring just a few short years from now. I'm really keen to see uh, some of those physical world changes. Excited when, you know, full automated self-driving uh, is uh, uh, all around. This means that, for example, the lead... As ideas take root, event organizers are confident that AI will soon become a key part of everyday life in the Okanagan. The possibilities to unleash your creativity, you're not hindered by the tools, right? And by, the, you know, like the technology, the technology will empower you as opposed to slow you down. And he's already gearing up for next year's summit, eager to see where AI will take us next. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Kelowna.